I almost smashed this brush into my face. Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I have wet hair, no makeup on, which means you guys are going to hang out with me while I chit chat with you and get ready. And I'm trying out a ton of new drugstore products today, so I'm pretty excited. I've hauled some of these, but have not had a chance to actually sit down and apply them. I'm really excited to crack into everything. All 100% drugstore. I am using very affordable brushes as well, and I'm going to list everything below. Um, even my tank top today is from Target. Everything's affordable. Let's just get going so I don't have to sit here with no makeup on. Um, right. So I don't have any eye primer. I looked high and low for my Wet n Wild primer and I could not find it. So we're gonna use a Wet n Wild concealer. This is the Highlight and Conceal Pen. Lightly cancel out the veins on my eyelids. To set what's on the lid, I'm going to take a little bit of Cody Airspun Powder just to make sure that the concealer does not crease. And now we have a nice smooth canvas to work with for our shadows. I'm gonna go in with the French Biscuit Quad and I'm gonna start with this warm brown right here. And I'm taking a clover brush that does not have a name. Just lightly grabbing the product. and going back and forth through the crease. Extending the shadow out a little bit and going quite heavy in the crease. I want this to be a very like dominating shade going on. I want there to be a lot of separation between the lid and the actual crease color. So that is why we are going a little heavier than normal today. So once you have the shape and everything blended, just repeat the same thing on the other eye. Starting to look out with a crease that is uh, kind of haywire like this can be a little bit intimidating and it looks, there, it looks crappy until the whole thing comes together. So hang with it. Don't be totally worried that you screwed up your whole look because you went really intense and wide in the crease because we are gonna be putting highlight here. We don't have the brows done yet and we're really going to work on the lid and then smudge and clean up the outer edge. Now I am going in with this more bronzy shade right here. That is really pretty. Whenever I get to the inner corners, I like to kind of lift my brush up a little bit so I'm not flat and getting color up where I don't want it. So you can always lift your brush and then get that inner corner. Kind of map out where you want the color to end, then go back to pressing your shade all over the lid. I'm gonna use this big fluffy brush as my cleanup and blending brush a little bit. So I'm just swooping the edges upward and then going back down and then upward and then going back down and just kind of softening what's going on on the edge over here. And now I'm just going back through and bringing that crease color a little bit more toward the bridge of my nose and just creating a shadow right through here. Taking a smaller flat brush from Clover, I'm gonna take that black sparkly shade. This could be awful about, I, this could just go in so many different directions right now. Let's pray for the best. I really didn't have much of an idea of what I wanted to do. I just wanted to play with new makeup. I'm gonna start on the edge, press and pat. Go up to the crease. Then I'm gonna loosen my grip and fluff this color up just a little bit. But I don't wanna go out as far as the smoky brown that we have going on. Otherwise, this could look messy really fast. All right, now I'm gonna switch it up and I'm gonna to go to my sleek highlighting palette. This is such a gorgeous highlighting palette. We are gonna use it on the face as well, but what I'm gonna do is highlight the center of my lid and I am going to use this bottom shade right here. 
and I, look how gorgeous that is. I'm going to just take this clover brush. This is a little bit, this is not the kind of brush I want to use to be honest. This is just a little pencil brush, but I don't have anything else. So we're just going with it. Okay, so I'm going to take my infallible setting spray. This is from L'Oreal. I'm going to dampen my brush and grab a little bit of this color. I'm gonna start at the center of the eye, right really close to the lash line. And then I'll work my way up. There we go. I didn't get enough liquid on there. I'm going to take a clean brush and kind of fan out the edges a little bit. All right, so let's get terrified some more and we're going in with another brand new product that I have never used. This could be bad, this could be great. So far, I feel like things are going well. This is the Master Precise Curvy. Ooh, this is interesting. Not half bad, that was actually really easy to apply. I did move the brush around quite a bit from the flat side to the thicker side and then to the pointed side to make sure that everything was really, really smooth. So I kind of like it. I was gonna do a wing, but I changed my mind. We're gonna keep things very smoky and round. All right, so this side wanted to go into a baby wing, just as I said, oh, we're gonna keep things round. We're not gonna do that. Kind of just happened. I like this, this was not bad, I'm surprised. I'm gonna curl my lashes and then I have a new mascara to try out. This is the Super Curler 24 Volume and Lash Curling Power in One. This is from Rimmel. It says to not use a lash curler, but I'm gonna be putting falsies on so I'm just more comfortable using a lash curler. It says you don't have to. And the way that I'm looking at it is maybe it will just help my lashes to stay curled for longer. Ooh, purple, my favorite color. Really, we're gonna be able to tell a little bit more on the bottom lashes because, which actually, do you wanna use a curling mascara on your bottom lashes? I am gonna put falsies on as per usual, so. This actually is not very volumizing, like, or pigmented. Like, I would expect a little bit more. I have never tried these. I saw this display at CVS and I was like, those look really wispy and pretty. These are the 122 Glamour Lashes from Ardell. I'm gonna use my new favorite tool ever. This is a lash applier from Kiss. I really like these lashes and I don't feel like I'm wearing anything at all. And this tool is seriously game changing. I love this thing so much. I didn't even buy it for myself. James did. He <laughs> thought that it would be like a cool, maybe an, I don't know, an OMG Tuesday. I don't know what he was thinking, but God bless him. He bought it for me and thought it was something different. And you know what? He did so good. I told him that this was my new favorite thing and he's like, oh yeah, I discovered something new for you. It's really cute. I'm really, really enjoying this eye look so far. Now we are gonna move on to brows. I have the new Brow Precise Micro Pencil from Maybelline. So far I like this. It has kind of a powdery texture to it almost. Like it's not overly creamy, which I like it when brow pencils are not overly pigmented or creamy. Like you don't wanna have Sharpie brows. Oh my God, look at the difference <laughs> that putting on a brow makes. Oh my God. All right, these are some strong brows, you know? All right, it's really tough to get me away from my Anastasia brow products. Sometimes I get excited when I find something new and we break up, but we always get back together. So these are not as good as the Anastasia products, but they're not bad. I mean, for drugstore, this is pretty awesome. And now we are onto the face. I am going to clean up underneath my eye. There was a little bit of fallout with that shadow. Not a ton, but enough that I wanted to do my eyes first because I knew I was gonna do something kind of smoky. 
but it's an easy fix if you do your eyes first. If you're worried about shadow fallout, then you can just take a makeup wipe and clean things up. All right, we're gonna go in with primer. And I have something that says it is going to lift and firm. So when I spotted this at Walmart, of course, I'm like, okay, let's try that out. This is from Hard Candy. And I'm just going to place this all over my face. And I'm gonna do my best to work upward. It does not smell like anything. And actually it does feel firming. Hmm. Tightens facial contour so skin appears rested and relaxed. All right, I'm down with that. Okay, so I didn't have a new foundation to try out, so I'm just gonna go in with a favorite of mine. This is the Milani Conceal and Perfect. I'm using shade number three. I'm trying out a new brush. This is from AOA Studio. This is a high def brush. This is number F4. And these are very affordable, so that's why I included it. I feel like this is taking a long time, um, but the brush is doing its job. So, you know, can't complain there. I am actually going to mix these two shades together for my concealer. This is the Come Correct Celebrity Concealer from Wet n Wild. And I have the shade Fair and Medium Golden. Fair is very, very fair. So I'm just gonna, you know, do my thing and mix two of them together. I'm gonna go ahead and pat Oh wow, that screams coverage. Um, I'm just gonna use my fingertips to blend in. I'm gonna take this brush from Shea Moisture. This is the foundation and concealer brush and I'm just going to blend. And I am going to set my under eye area. I'm gonna use the Cody Airspun powder in Naturally Neutral and I'm just gonna grab a little bit on a smaller fluffy brush. I wanted to try this out. This is the Better Skin Skin Transforming Powder and just tap this all over the face. I'm gonna take this e.l.f. contouring brush and the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Contour in medium. All right, now I'm gonna take this giant bronzer from L'Oreal. This is the Glam Bronze. I'm gonna take a giant fluffy brush from Clover Cosmetics and I'm going to work the perimeter of the face. I'm gonna highlight the face. I'm going back in with this sleek palette and I'm going to grab this lighter shade and the kind of champagne shade and just hit the tops of my cheekbones. Look how strong that is. Oh my God. So I'm taking this from Sleek Cosmetics. This is a lip plumping crayon, and I'm gonna use this as the base before I put on some other lip products. Now I'm going in with this new L'Oreal palette. This is the La Palette Lip Cream Matte and Highlighter. It comes with a pretty fat lip brush. So I'm gonna start with this creamier shade right here. This is the shade I initially was just so attracted to. Oh my God. That is so, so pretty. I am praying to God that that translates on camera really well because looking here in the mirror, this color is perfect. All right, for the lower lash line, I'm gonna go with this Rocker Chic Velvet Touch Waterproof Gel Eyeliner Pencil. This is from J-Cat Beauty, and I'm actually gonna go right underneath and then smudge things out. For just a tiny touch of highlight, I'm gonna go on the inner corners. I'm going to take the lighter shade in the Sleek palette. I'm gonna take this Luxie Slim Tapered Blending Brush, and I'm just going to grab the color right on the tip and press it on my inner corner. <laughs> and I almost forgot blush. So we're gonna go in with this Almay Smart Shade Blush in Coral. 
Love this so much. You cannot screw it up. If you have a heavy hand with blush, this is a great one because you really, it just wants to stay blended and perfect and it does not streak at all. And it layers really, really well. All right, so I'm at the point where I need to go and do something with my wet hair. I'm gonna go blow dry my hair and then we are all done. So now that my hair is done and I have my jewelry on, um, I am all set to go. So this is the finished look. Everything I have to say through and through is affordable. I'm going to list it below. This necklace is from Windsor. The tank top was from Target. All of my makeup that I have right here, all drugstore. I'm just really happy with this affordable look. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed me doing a talk through tutorial like this with all drugstore stuff. I had fun doing it. So I hope you had fun watching it. And if you recreate this look, be sure to tweet me photos, tag me on Instagram. I love seeing when you guys do work that is inspired by something that I posted on my channel. And I hope you're having a wonderful day. I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Mwah.